You sent with an opportunity today, however, to get back in the win column against another tough opponent. The Tulane Green Wave making their way to Hattiesburg in a battle for the bell. Southern Miss defeated the reigning Cotton Bowl champs a year ago in New Orleans, but this Tulane side is mightily improved since then. Kai Horton getting his second consecutive start for the injured Michael Pratt for Tulane, and he has time, and he elects to deliver a strike to Lawrence Keyes, who makes his way into the red zone. A few plays later, Horton would get the snap again, and this time he sneaks his way into the end zone on the game's opening possession. Later in the frame, Southern Miss looking to answer fourth and short for the Golden Eagles, but Frank Gore Jr. can't connect with his receiver. From there on out, the first half was a defensive battle. Both teams getting to the opposing quarterback for sacks, resulting in an uneventful first half. The Green Wave took a seven-zip lead into the halftime break, but the Golden Eagles endured significant struggles moving the ball into Lane's territory all day long. For the second consecutive game, Frank Gore Jr. was held in check, tallying just 16 yards on the ground despite getting 13 carries. Southern Miss did honor its 2022-23 Sun Belt champions during the game, but the team on the field could not get the job done. Head coach Will Hall gave his thoughts following the loss. Disappointing night, a disappointing afternoon, obviously, just didn't play. Uh, just didn't make a whole lot of plays, specifically offensively. You know, early in the game, we had a few things there. We had a fourth down a little deal right there. We missed the tight end, what could have been a big touchdown. And then the next time, you know, we had a corner route down there that we missed. Uh, we were good on third down early. We got our first few third downs and was moving it. We just never made the play to kind of get us over the hump and break it open. During halftime, uh, we felt like we dominated on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, that first drive uh, was kind of shaky, but we uh, – we stepped on defense after that, and I feel like we feel like uh, we was dominating on offense, but we just couldn't get a score. We we feel like we're a top 25 team in the country, so uh, you know, so that's that's how I feel about that. Yeah. Southern Miss hits the road to begin conference play next week at Arkansas State.